when perfection comes, when everything is fully restored, when our eyes are fully open, when we're not looking at God in reflection through fog and mist, when we see beyond the glimmer and the dust that we play, we'll see that God was telling the most beautiful story the whole time. I was lost in the You know, we talk about being the light of the world and, and um, at the end of the day, like the part we play, they're just glimmers in the dust. And that's not something to make us feel worthless or invaluable because the bottom line is um, right now we only see in part. We only see a bit. We only see in glimmer, in glimmers, in dust. I know there's a place I've been known Where I will see the fullness of love I try face to face with my God Lost in your awesome wonder So I guess this song is in a roundabout way it's kind of playing on a few different metaphors but it's all based in that one scripture at the end of 1 Corinthians 13 and just the, the awareness of um, we're just kids we haven't got it all figured out we don't see the whole picture yet but one day we're going to have matured into being fully known by God and fully knowing in the face of perfection that this whole time we were actually just looking at life in reflection glimmers in the dust I found love in a moment You know, there's a line in the song that says, um, I found heaven in pieces, in glimmer and dust. And the idea being that right now, like God is establishing his kingdom here on earth. Um, and we get a glimpse of heaven um, because of the cross and what Jesus did. He's fully done it. But because our eyes aren't fully open and because we're still shrouded in all this other stuff, we only see it in glimpses and pieces. And yet, God is working in and through everything. And if our eyes were fully open, when perfection comes, when the story is over, when our eyes are fully open and everything is, is, everything is removed that isn't faith, hope, and love, what we'll see is that this whole time, all these little glimmers were just, they were there the whole time in this full face glory of God that's re fully been revealed, but is in all things. Um, and we'll be like, oh my goodness, that whole time, like God was in it and God was moving and God was having his way and God was using our little bits and our little pieces and our little parts and our little glimmers in the dust that we are on our best days shining in reflection of him. He was using all of that stuff to tell a greater picture and a greater story. It's like we're all individual pixel pieces, but together we serve to reveal the full image of Christ revealed in us. It's hard to explain. That's why I'm saying I spent forever trying to dive into this scripture. Um, but it's, I think it's really simple because at the end of the day, it's based on the premise that love never fails and that only three things remain when everything else fades away, when all the dust settles and fades away. All that's left is faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And everything we do, all of our best exploits, all of our best attempts, all of our best guitar solos, all of our best drum moments, all of our best appearances, all of our best Instagram posts, all of our best everything. Um, it means nothing if it's not motivated by love and it's not rooted in that sense of value that only comes from God, represented in the picture of Jesus on the cross.
done. All that matters is love. So let love take over, not just in part, but in all that you are, in the full face of who you are. Let your love take over. Um, that's our prayer, because we've got nothing without it. Just in part